Hey guys, it's Rookie Barbecue here again. Super stoked for this cook. Uh, this is actually part of the reason I actually got the Weber Smoke Fire. One, I love ribeyes. Um, everybody loves ribeyes. But because of this behemoth right here, this freaking monster, look at this thing. It's as big as my head, okay? If you guys aren't aware, it's pro well, it's actually probably in the description. This is a tomahawk steak. Tomahawk ribeye, that's still the rib bone attached to. I just, I gotta pick it up one more time. Look at that thing. I'm literally gonna cook it and take a bite. But, anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. You know, there's several videos, everything like that. I'm gonna do it simple because I wanna taste this thing. I wanna taste all of it. I, I don't wanna do anything special. I'm just gonna put a little salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil to keep it on there. And then I'm going to reverse sear it. So, I'm gonna do it at 225 at about 70 degrees i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna flip it back over so it get cooks both sides evenly i'll take it off fire it to 600 and then i'll reverse sear both sides i'll cut it for you i'll try it for you I'm, I'm so excited i'm ecstatic all right so let me just get into this real quick okay so first i just put a little olive oil on there it's not really a little actually because this thing's such a monster I'm gonna put it here on the sides too, not just the top. And then I am going to put some salt in there. Kosher salt, as always, you know. Coat the heck out of this thing. Make sure to get it on the sides. Okay, good to go there. Gonna do some pepper. It's a little windy out here, but I hate cooking in my kitchen. I just feel isolated, I don't like it. Okay, get the sides there. Okay, oh, screw it. All right, there we go. I'm a lefty too, so trying to do things with my right hand is damn near impossible. All right, and then I'm gonna put some garlic, just a little bit of garlic powder as it blows towards my camera woman. Okay. Oh, I can't get over how big this thing is. And yes, I realize, guys, I'm using gloves. I have olive oil on my gloves. I, I'm touching the meat. I'm touching all these. Do not worry. I'm well aware I'm going to clean all these down. I do it every time with real quick Clorox wipes, which I have surprisingly considered. If you go to any store, you can't find that stuff right now. So. Just gonna finish it off right here. I love salt, if you can't tell already. Woo, it's getting windy out here. Literally, the pepper is flying away. Oh no, you didn't see that. No one saw that, that was just a, a leaf. A little more garlic, and I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it sit for like 15 minutes. The grill's almost to temp, and then I will get you when I throw it back on, okay guys? Oh my God, just look at that thing. Oh my God. All right, so I just wanna show you guys uh, this is it on the grill. I got the meat thermometer in there. Oh my god, I'm so excited. She's at 230 right now. I'm gonna, like I said, at like 75, 78, maybe even 80, I'm gonna flip it just so it gets equal cooking. So we'll get you with you guys when I flip it around. Sweet! Okay, so here we go. We got it on the grill. I got the meat thermometer in there. By the way, I, I looked at it inside and even after I saw the video that I put out there, Literally, pretty much all my um, pepper was flying off. Even some of the garlic. So I redid it inside, recoated it. It's it's on there. I let it sit so it doesn't even. It, the thing I like about the uh, kosher salt is it kind of disappears. It goes into the meat. It's it's it. Oh, it's just gonna be so good. I got I recoated everything because, like I said, I felt like it wasn't good enough um, for the actual cook. So now it's at 2.30, I'm gonna let it sit there until the internal temperature gets to about 75, 80, and then I'm gonna flip it, so that way we get a full cook, all right? I will be back with you guys when it's there, and we'll check it out, sweet! Hi right, y'all, we're at 77 right now. It's been like uh, 25 minutes, I'd say, 25 or so. So I'm gonna open her up, check it out. Oh my God, I'm just gonna flip her over. Oh, oh, I gotta be so careful, oh. Oh man, look at that. Holy crap on a cracker. God. Okay. I'll check back with you here in a sec when it's at one. I'm going to take it off at like 115, 120, and then I'll fire it up to reverse sear. Oh, wow. All right, guys. Uh, we're at 118 right now. Um, I, you could wait till like 120, 125, but 
I'm going. I want to let it rest after I reverse here. So watch. Follow me. I'm going to take it off. See how she is. Oh my God, mother of Lord. All right. So I'm going to take off. The meat thermometer real quick. Take this side right here. And I'm going to put this monster. No, I'm going to take it inside. Look at this thing. Look at this freaking thing. It looks like the alien from the movie Alien. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Okay. So we're going to go inside. And I'll get back with you when we're going to sear it. All right? All right, guys. We're at 600 degrees. I'm going to put this on there. Watch. Check it out. Woo! Baby, we're blowing and going. I'm going to put about a minute on each side. Try to get those nice grill marks. And then I'll take it off and we'll try it out. Oh. My God. All right, so as we put it on the other side, I'm gonna take it off, turn it over here in a second. As you can tell, those flames are freaking going, baby. Whew. Remember to use the gloves when you're doing this shit because this gets intense as hell. Pretty sure I might have a fire down there, but it's okay. Just kidding. I don't have fire, I shouldn't have said that. All right, this will be the last little turn. Woo, baby! That Weber's burning. All right, I'm gonna take it off. Oh my God. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go inside. I'll see you on the inside table. Alright guys, so we're in here. Here's the reason I took it off at like 118. You can see I got those grill marks. God, I love that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit. So I'm going to put it underneath some foil. I'm going to wrap it and put it in some butter. So, this is completely real time here. Put it right there. I'm going to put about four pieces of butter on this thing because, oh, oh. oh. It's gonna melt, it's gonna get everywhere. We're gonna be. Oh, even my dog is hurting right now because he can smell it. Okay, so I wrapped it real tight. I'm gonna let it sit here for about 10 minutes or so. 10, 15 minutes, let all that butter melt, and then I'll get you the final product. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the final freaking product, man. My first tomahawk. My God, it looks amazing. I don't even. I'm gonna cut it along the bone here. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh jeez. I don't even know where to cut first. Oh. Oh my god. By the way, here in the household, we like things almost bloody, still pumping. So I'm gonna try this right now. First bite, first tomahawk. I don't even know. Alright guys. I gotta go. I love all of you. If you like this, please like, subscribe, comment. Oh god. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.